Hi folks, Steve here at Ross Villers. Today we're taking a closer look at a uh, East to West Alta Model 2100BH. It's a 2021 model. Uh, this is the smallest uh, Alta in the lineup. It's 25 foot 11 inch overall length. It weighs just a little shy of 24, or I'm sorry, 5400 pounds. Uh, it's a family unit, double over double. Queen size bed at the front, Mur Murphy style. I really like that. Uh, this is the best the industry has to offer shell wise. It's incredible. You won't get anything better You start looking at how all of the different components of this trailers are manufactured You'll realize okay. They really wanted to make sure that uh, the shell of this trailer is top and that's what they're doing uh, Lots of very interesting features. So let's just get going uh, At the front of course a Murphy bed. So in order to make your bed It's actually fairly easy. What you need to do is you just need to unfold your slip your jackknife sofa and there's a couple of little latch right here and then once they're unlatched the whole thing comes down and it's pretty tight there and it's holding up because of the plastic but once the plastic is off the mattress it'll be uh, a little easier to bring it down very comfy mattress we have had zero complaint from customers it's very thick as well uh, and it's a queen size uh, one of the things that i like about the front is they made the shirt closet uh, stop before it hits the bottom. So when you're actually laying in bed, you're not sleeping against the wall There's uh, there's some space there. So it helps with uh, not being as uh, claustrophobic as it, as it could get right so nice shirt closet real bars as well So make your bed in the morning if you want you don't really have to it doesn't alter uh, Anything to get in and out of the trailer. There's plenty of room here a lot of them the bed comes out much further and then it just it gets a little tight here. They left enough room and that's great. So your bed, your blanket, your pillows, everything stays and it just goes up. And that's it. And then you can just un unfold your, uh, your sofa. Talking about the sofa, there is some storage underneath. Lots of storage, which is separated from the one going through at the front. There is a couple of side table that has power and a USB outlets on each side. So that's kind of nice. So going around right here, we have our AM FM, uh, uh, Bluetooth, USB auxiliary, HDMI. It's all there. Uh, the light switch for the lights under the counter. It's pretty nice. We have a thermofoil countertop, so there's no edge. Farmer style stainless steel sink, a uh, single bowl, very deep, and a restaurant style tap with it, and a nice sink cover. So this year they upgraded the size of the window in the kitchen, and I'm a big fan. Look at this. I mean, you're going to be part of the outside. The light's going to come in. It's going to be great. Uh, a little further on that counter, we have a knife rack in the back of the, the stove, bifold, flush mounted, glassed up. I really like the cast iron grill on that stove. Uh, all the knob lights up as well as the oven. There's a little light underneath there. That's pretty nice. Charcoal filtered range hood. Still, still microwave. Plenty of storage above. They even put the shelf. So that should be plenty for all of the dishes. Plywood made drawers. The whole drawer extend out. Pretty nice. Ball bearing hardware. A little bit of storage underneath the sink and even a place to put a garbage can if you want and a pots and pan drawer right underneath the oven now we talked about the furnace on the outside video it is 35,000 BTU it's ducted but not through the floor they put their vents in the cabinets so no grids on the floor where the crumbs the sand the dirt's gonna get in so that's a very very nice feature our fridge on this one is an option. It's actually a gas electric fridge. It's a traditional RV fridge. Uh, in the last couple of years, the industry is trying to uh, convince campers to use a 12 volt fridge, and it's great. It can work. But again, in our territory, we feel anything that's less than 28 feet in length is gonna be towed, and a lot of our campers are actually dry camping. So if you're going with a 12 volt fridge, then you need to address that properly by adding the right size solar panel and have the right batteries and the right amount of batteries at the front. So uh, at, for the time being, as long as the fridge is available in gas electric, traditional, 
that's the option we put on. So it's an eight cubic foot, it's a large fridge, one through three shelf. There's very nice little trailer, three, four crispers on the side. Oven, or I should say the uh, freezer, same thing. So very nice. Right past that, we have a pantry. So there's room if you want to add a couple shelf, you're more than welcome to do that. Now the AC on this unit is a 15,000 BTU. It is a large, the largest AC you can put on. Uh, it's standard on all their units. It's actually ducted through the roof as well. I booth, uh, one of the things that I really like, there's two big drawers, one on each side. So perfect for maybe those potatoes and carrots and onions you may want to bring, some cans, some maybe a case of water that can fit in there. There's a power outlet and a USB outlet right there as well underneath the booth. There's a very large window, so again, it's going to help out with the lights. Uh, this year, no more pleated shade. It's a roller shade and it's a uh, slow retracting or self-retracting uh, shade. It's kind of nice. This thing will come with a TV, 32 inch. It's connected to the AMFM uh, Bluetooth USB auxiliary HDMI stereo that we talked about earlier. So it's right here. A little bit of storage. One, two, three more drawers here. And there's a food, food uh, pet food bowl for the little furry friend. Double over double. There's an HD or a USB office on each one of them. There is a light on each one of them and a window on each one of them. And the bottom one lifts up to have access to a lot more storage. So you could put a few bins in there with maybe a kid's bicycle helmet and stuff like that. And East to West, Alta provides a ladder for pretty much all their bunk models. So a lot of the time manufacturers don't bother because it is a liability issue. But Alta believes that uh, things are secure properly. Bathroom. First thing first, there's a light switch on the wall. I'm really liking that. A very large sink. <laughs> Again, often they're so small. I mean, yeah, you almost need a laser to be able to point out when you brush your teeth to make sure that you actually are over the sink. But not in this case. It's kind of nice. Uh, corner medicine cabinet. So pretty much everything you can need while camping should fit in there. A little bit of storage below, so a great spot to put the extra roll of toilet paper, maybe some towel. Uh, foot flush toilet, nice little cubby hole on the side. And you roll up your towel, maybe some sheets and blankets in the back, it's fine. 36 by 30 shower with a roll up shower curtain. I'm a big fan of that. There's a skylight, I'm 5 foot 8, I'm not the tallest guy out there, but if you're a 6 foot 8, I think you can still fit in this shower. And I think if you're six foot eight, well, oh boy. Uh, there's a window and that opens in the bathroom. It's kind of rare in this industry. They normally tend not to put a window in here because it's an extra cost. There's a power fan. We talked about the light switch. I'm a big fan. If, folks, there's plenty of room here to get out and enjoy yourself up and get ready. It's, it's perfect. Such a little trailer. We've got to keep in mind this is 25 foot 11 inch. So about 22 and a half foot of box. Uh, no slide, 5,400 pounds. Perfect for family of four that wants to go camping and enjoy the outdoor. Folks, if you have any questions, please give us a call. Send us an email. Stop by. We'll be happy to demonstrate. Uh, I think we've done it. Thanks for watching.